My name is Brendan Cormier. Uh, I'm a senior design curator at the Victoria and Albert Museum. The paving slab, these kinds of tactile paving slabs, were invented by a Japanese engineer named Seiichi Miyaki. They were really an important innovation in terms of accessibility design. All throughout the 20th century, cities become bigger, they're growing rapidly, and you start to get lots and lots of automobile traffic. These busy roads start to become really dangerous for people with visual impairments. Seiichi Miyaki came up with a really simple system. The two different blocks that he came up with tell you two different things. One is a series of dots or truncated domes, and they basically tell you that you're approaching an area that's potentially dangerous. Then a second set of paving styles are just straight lines, and those straight lines become a way of suggesting a safe path that you can follow. They were tested outside of a school that catered directly to people with visual impairments. But soon thereafter, in the decades that followed, they found applications all across Japan. It became a useful idea to implement them at train stations because train stations have dangerous platforms. And then slowly they started to become implemented on pavements and city streets across Japan and then around the world.